Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to another book birthday today. I'm wishing a very happy birthday to A Book of Bones by John Connolly. This is uh, Charlie Parker book number 17. Um, there's actually 18 stories in the series so far. Um, there is one, there's a novella in, at, that is number 4.5. I believe it is. I'm not sure of the name of it. But uh, before we get into the second half of this video, which was recorded a couple of days ago, I'm putting both these together since they're kind of, then, since they are John Connolly themed. Um, I want to ask you guys a question. If you are a John Connolly fan, which one of his books is your favorite? Um, especially, let's stick to the Charlie Parker books. I know he has uh, short story collections like Nocturnes and... The Book of Lost Children? Is that right? I don't know. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the description for this. For those of you that might want to go out and pick up the book, you want to know what it's about. From what I understand, these books stand alone completely. I've read the first two so far. I love them both, Every Dead Thing and Dark Hollow. And both of those books, I don't think I would have needed to read the first one to understand the second one. From what I understand, the whole series is like that. Um, I am a bit worried about spoilers for the series in this description, so if I see, if I feel anything like that coming, I will uh, jump over it. But it says, He is our best hope. He is our last hope. He is our only hope. On a lonely moor in... Moor, M-O-O-R. I'm not exactly sure what a moor is. Isn't it like a swamp area or something like that? I'm not sure. If you live on a moor and it's not a swamp area, I apologize. But uh, on a lonely moor in the northeast of England, the body of a young woman is, is discovered near the site of a vanished church. Vanished. In the south, a girl lies buried beneath an Iron Age mound. To the southeast, the ruins of a priory hide a human skull. I love it when he bounces all over the place. In uh, in Dark Ho Hollow, he pretty much stays in one location, but in the first book, he's all over the place. Uh, each is a sacrifice, a summons, and something in the darkness has heard the call. But another is coming. Charlie Parker, the hunter, the avenger. From the forests of Maine to the deserts of the Mexican border, from the canals of Amsterdam to the streets of London, he will track those who would cast this world into darkness. Parker fears no evil, but evil fears him. Ooh. And then John Connolly is the author of the Charlie Parker series of mystery novels, the Supernatural Collections Nocturnes and Night Music, the Samuel Johnson Trilogy for Young Readers, The Book of Lost Things, not The Book of Lost Children, um, and with Jennifer Ridyard, The Chronicles of the Invaders series. I hadn't even heard about that one. He lives in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, for more information, see his website. Uh, I did not know that he lived in Dublin, Ireland. Um, I just found this out recently. Uh, he is Irish. Uh, I guess he doesn't even live over here, but... By reading his books, you would wholly expect that he did. So, well done there. And now that we're done with that, we are going to a video that I shot earlier last week? Later last? Late last week? Something like that. A gift package from my friend Angela. So let's jump into that. Hello everybody, E here. I got a package. So today's package is from my good friend Angela. If you guys were ever a part of the live streams, she was usually in there. Um, unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties with the original, uh, with the original unboxing for, for this one, so that won't be added, sorry, Angela, but at least we're gonna get this one open, so, uh, but she also sent me The Lovers by John Connolly, it's a very, very nice edition of the book, there is so much glare, let's see if we can get this over here, anyways, so yeah, uh, she sent me that one, and she also sent me this one, I know what's in here too, but, uh, yeah. So we're just going to jump into it. Now, this one isn't going to be a surprise. Do not expect any shock. <laughs> Angela's definitely not because we already talked about this. I know it's in here. Yeah, there we go. What is this? Oh, it sounds like what? <laughs> Never mind. I, I open it up and I see this. I'm like, what? what's that? Is that like trash bags or something? Yeah. But, uh, what, is, what, is, what is this? Oh, okay. It's a sticker to keep them closed. 
Alright, there should be three paperbacks in here. There are. That's awesome. Get away! Go! I can use this bubble wrap, too. Oh, what? Wait, we got a letter? Angela, you wrote me a letter! Another one? Actually, did you write me one? I'm not sure, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if I should be reading the letter first. Let's see here. Yeah. Right here, piece of paper. Alright, um, yeah, okay. Uh, Dear E, book hunting is one of my favorite pastimes. It brings me as much joy to hunt and find for others as it does for me. It also gives me a good excuse to prolong my trips. Yes. I hope you enjoy reading these as I did finding them. I have a, I have a pretty decent sized hunting ground, so if you think of anything else, just let me know. Happy reading, Angela. P.S. No good bookmarks. Anyway, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's get to what what books she sent. So, um, I have become a, uh, a huge John Connolly fan, so she sent me The Black Angel. She found all these. First off, uh, let me, let me rewind. She asked me, is there anything you're looking for while I'm out book hunting? And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't think so. I couldn't think of anything. And I realized, I'm going to be starting this John Connolly trying to read through his, uh, Charlie Parker series. So, yeah, why not? Just try to find these books for me. And to make it easier, I told her the ones that I had. Um, so she sent, well, of course, the ones I didn't have. But The Black Angel, I'm not sure what number these are in the series. There's like 18 of these books. Slowly, oh, actually, there's numbers on the, I wonder if that's right. Anyways, The Black Angel, uh, this one is The Unquiet. Looks like it's book six. Because somebody put stickers on them down here. I'm wondering if that's actually the, uh, the number... I'm going to have to look that up afterwards. And then The Wrath of Angels, which this says is book 11. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate you. I hope you get your package uh, pretty soon. Um, I sent her something. First thing I sent got lost in the mail. This one, I hope this one actually arrives. I sent her Sleeping Beauties. Uh, I had an extra copy uh, as my reading copy for uh, when, it, when the book came out. I usually buy a uh, hardcover edition of... Uh, buy two hardcover editions. I used to buy... A hardcover edition, an ebook, and an audiobook, but the ebooks are like the same price as the damn hardcovers now, so I just go ahead and I buy two of the hardcovers. I think the one for Sleeping Beauties, though, I think that was a Book of the Month Club one, I'm not sure. But, anyways, yeah, so nowadays I get two hardcovers and an audiobook. Um, and after I read it, if, you know, if I end up liking it, uh, or if I if I end up liking it, I keep one hardcover for a reading copy so that I don't have to buy the paperback because those things can get expensive too. Um, but also, uh, if I don't like it, like Sleeping Beauties, I just end up giving it away. So Angela said she needed one, so it went to her. Anyways, thank you again so much for all of these. I really do appreciate it, Angela. And I'll talk to you in twit on Twitter in Twitter DMs. Yes, I'll talk to you in Twitter Twitter. <laughs> But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another email unboxing, I'll talk to you guys later, Bye bye <laughs> Tweeter.